Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for News 10 at noon. In Abbeville, a man was left injured after a shooting occurred at the Stonebridge apartment. We have News 10's Zane Ho live from the scene with the latest. Zane. Good afternoon, Sylvia. This is Zane Hogue. I am here at the Stonebridge apartment complex, where last night around 9.30, the Abbeville Police Department responded to a shots fired call. When they arrived here at the complex, they found one black male had been shot, and he would later be transported to the Abbeville emergency room, where he'd be pronounced dead. I spoke to... Continuing to follow breaking news out of Abbeville, where we are working to learn more about a shooting in the city. According to police, the shooting happened near Schlesinger and Maud Streets. Victor Georges joins us live from there. And Victor, you spoke with a family member of the victim. What'd they have to say? Hey guys, yes, the teen's uncle tells me tonight he is in surgery. He, he also tells me the teenager is 15 years old and he was shot while getting off the school bus. He was shot in the head. Now standing next to him while they were getting off the bus was his little sister, but she is not injured. Now, the video, there's, there's a video that's been shared on social media of a school bus near the scene. Around 2.30 this afternoon, Abbeville police were called out to Schlesinger Street and Maud Avenue. A teen was found with a gunshot wound. He was taken to a hospital for treatment. Police say the investigation is still ongoing and no other details regarding the shooting are being released at this time now. Abbeville Police Department is asking anyone that knows anything about this crime to call police. An Abbeville man faces an attempted second degree murder charge in a Sunday night shooting. Police say they were called out to Fairmont Avenue where they found a man had been shot. The victim was taken to a hospital and as of today is listed in stable condition. Tyreek Broussard was booked into jail Monday for the $250,000 bond. My name is Tyke the Future, and I'm from Abbeville, Louisiana. To keep it real, when I first started doing this, I didn't really want to do it because I was like, you know, I'm from the hood, and I was like, man, I want to go back, you know, thug, man, I want to go chill on the corner, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, you know, I don't want to do this no more. My daddy was like, you know, that ain't really my daddy, you feel me? But he took me under, so that's my daddy. So my daddy was like, man, nah, I'm telling you, this, this stuff gonna pop off, man. We, we, I'm trying to get you somewhere that you've never been, you know. And then that's when we start going to Miami and California and stuff like that. And then that's when I was like, man, you really right, like. intimidation, burglaries, drug trafficking, extortion, and brutal beatings. We've arrested 10 of these thugs and have warrants on seven more. Every one of these animals is most definitely armed and dangerous. Darren Carter, Aaron Carter, Travis Cooper, Cody Gidry, Jaron Diggs, Kirkland Demache, and Jonathan Landry. We have felony warrants for your arrest. You will be hunted. You will be trapped. And if you raise your weapon to a man like me, we'll return fire with superior fire. They resurface. Now, I know it's been some years now, and you've talked about this a lot, but there was a guy by the name of Captain Clay Higgins, and he was a sheriff, and he went on the news and basically called you and a couple of your partners out. You think men like these are afraid of an uneducated 125-pound punk like you that's never won a fair fight in your life and holds your gun sideways? 
Young man, I'll meet you on solid ground anytime, anywhere, light or heavy. Makes no difference to me. You won't walk away. Look at you. Men like us, son, we do dumbbell presses with weights bigger than you. And the convicts in jail, most of those men are good people who just found themselves crossed with the law. They're not evil, and they don't respect you or any punk like you. Yeah, sure. There was a big news story about it or whatnot. But what do you think about that whole situation, man? Man, oh, well, then, like, it was like calling you and challenging you. Yeah, it was really like, I could tell, man, you don't really even know me for real. Like, you just, I guess, reading your script for real. Because, like, 125 pound punk, you never want to feel fighting your life. Man, I went buku boxing matches, bro. All right, that's a very fight if you ask me, like, bro. I'm, that's why I'm glad you talked about that part about boxing. Because that was one of the viral points in the video where he kind of called you out and said, you never want a fair fight in your life. Tell them to find out. You got a history boxing, like really boxing. Right. So like all that, you know, all that talk, he really didn't understand your story. No. Mention it. I was night fighting in the pen and shit. Still had a buzz in the penalty. But I'm cash money just last summer. I was in the cold fist and silencing. Uh -huh. On the FYC, we put the bodies up. I go step with shit in the raincoat. Right. Huh. I put the fillers up. I done turn this bitch to a flamethrower. Huh. I'm from the two holes. I done fuck with bitches with the same, same choice. Same bitch, same that's when we come to game. We done bit the shit with the same, same horse. Same huh. Notorious member of the Gremlin gang that terrorized neighborhoods in Abbeville and other areas of Acadiana. Now, he has signed a million dollar contract to be a musical artist. In a story you'll see only on 10. News 10's Rodrigo Taylor spoke with Carter and learns how he's left the streets for the studio. Darian Carter, a local rapper, has a past life in gangs, crime, drugs, and violence. Now he has a chance at musical success. 